Hey guys, my name is Faisal Hashmi and this is the new Canon C70 cinema camera. Now, thanks to Canon Middle East, I had the opportunity to test this camera out a month before its release. This is a pre-production model that was one of the first people in this region to have the opportunity to test out. So naturally, I went to Kite Beach with my friend Jules one afternoon to really see what this camera is capable of. Now, this camera is a very interesting hybrid, right? It takes the form factor of these mirrorless DSLR cameras that we love because of the portability and convenience and like being able to put on a gimbal, but also mixes it with the stuff that I love about their professional cinema cameras, including internal ND filters, XLR ports, bigger batteries, and all of the physical buttons on the side that just really make my life a lot easier as a professional director. Now this camera sports the Super 35 DGO sensor that is found in the much more expensive Canon C300 Mark III, which means that the images have 16 stop of dynamic range, great details in the shadows and the highlights, mixing with that the incredible Canon color signs that we love for natural lifelike images that are just a joy to shoot. Now, of course, the C70 also sports the much loved Canon's dual pixel autofocus. Now, we try to give the face tracking a spin and even challenge it by not even giving it a full face. And as you can see the results, it did a pretty good job. Now, this is Canon's first RF mount cinema camera. The RF mount is really, really popular on the Canon EOS R series of mirrorless cameras. I've never used one before, but this was a joy to work with. Just a very solid lens, a small lightweight lens that I had a joy shooting with. So overall, this is not a review, this is a pre-production model. I'm just using it for a couple of days, but I really like this camera. I think this could be a great B camera to a lot of the stuff that I shoot with my Canon C200 cinema camera that I personally own, but also a great A camera, a main camera for a lot of the social media stuff, smaller stuff that I shoot, which with this form factor would be really easy and convenient for me to shoot. Once the camera releases, if I get an opportunity to play with it again, I would love to see how it fares with the C200, do more test footage with it, maybe more scientific stuff with it. That's just in the future, but right now, this is an interesting camera and I'm excited to see what Canon does next.